It's a great day in SimWorld, everybody. Good morning and welcome to SimWorld Today, the morning show that has not won any awards yet, but it's coming. It's coming. I'm B Ron alongside my man Yells. Morning, sir. Hey, go. Morning, man. I ain't looking for no awards, B Ron. I'm just looking for somebody <laughs> to run me my chick. That's it. Run me my chick. So, yeah, yeah, we good, man. Good morning. <laughs> Yeah, good morning, man. You talk about running checks, man. Run DMV, they got to figure out what, what's going on over there because bad news, everyone. Uh, Nick Hugo, if you didn't hear about it yesterday, you didn't hear about it today. Sheesh. Nick Hugo is officially leaving Run DMV. That is a surprise, a disaster in all sense of the word, in my personal opinion. But that also brings up the, the question of uh, could others follow him because there's been some rumblings around Run DMV since uh, Coach Banks joined the team a few weeks ago, and there's concern from what from what I'm hearing. Can you corroborate any of that for me? No, I can't. <laughs> I can't corroborate. I know we've heard a little bit. I think uh, yeah. Yeah. I think uh, Charles Charles Pinkert. There may have been some little grumblings there. Obviously, the Nick Hugo. Um, you know, I always change the topic just a little bit. Um, I know you framed it as Coach Banks showed up and everybody's out. I think I posed the question is, um, what's different about his style than Coach Myron Murray, where he was getting people to buy in and accept different roles and all that. Um, but now there's Coach Banks is there and people, I don't know if they're not giving him an opportunity to uh, to speak to his system, if he's not speaking to it at all. I don't know. Something's clearly different because – you know, you talk about a, a wholesale change in how a squad yep. operates when the coach comes in. But this is literally like night and day. Like last year, it was getting absolutely the mo getting people to buy in to something there they should have never bought into in the first place as far as changing lineups. There they was not always the same starting lineup. And then Nick Hugo, Charles Pinker, Keith Singleton, Trey Tr I mean, it was a it's a Run DMV was a band of misfits that nobody heard about um, mm -hmm. across the country, excuse me, even really in their region, let alone across the country, because they had people from all over. Um, right. So it really, it was a, it was a heavily bonded team. Um, you turn the page, and all these kids that were just happy to be on a team now are saying they're checking for the door and looking for other opportunities. So, that I mean, that could be on the kids. That could be on the coach. I don't know. Do I think other moves are to come? Hey, I mean, it sounds like there already is. I tell you what, though, John Hudgens out of out of PA, um, somehow he ended up in run DMV. Is he, is he you know, is he attainable? Uh, Malik Duffin, this kid's out of Georgia, 6'9", and can shoot from the perimeter and block shots? Right. I don't know. Uh, Keith Singleton, we saw he was well on his way to being one of the most locked down defenders ever. He's out of DC, um, and then you got Trey Truss. He's out of he's out of the Maryland area. This Maryland, is really yeah. your stomping ground, B. Ron. I think you may know yeah. a little bit more here than I do, but I'll just say the culture has shifted immediately and yeah. drastically. And at, you know, it's, it's like a pole shift. Like they say, the thing that's going to take out the earth whenever it happens, or one of, one of the millions of things, right, is a, is a cataclysmic immediate pole shift that happens in like minutes. That's how I feel like what's happened with Run DMV because they were like one of the most cohesive teams out there. And then all of a sudden, turn the page and now it's like it's absolute turmoil. I mean, they make, they make Yacht Club look like a uh, look like, uh, you look like a Smurfs village, like a, just a <laughs> band of friends right now, because it looks like there's nothing, none of that here on the DMV side of things. Yeah, it's. I'll tell you what. It's very, very strange to see the the flip happen so fast from a month ago. Talking about, like you said, Run DMV being a really cohesive unit. Coach is very interactive with them. All that stuff. And then you get to today with the news of uh, Murray stepping into stepping down, and then you know now all this news coming out with uh, Hugo leaving and everything else. It's a mess over there, and I'm not quite sure what happened, but it seems like the biggest thing that happened from what I from what, what I'm just putting together here. I'm not saying it's happening, but what I'm what I'm seeing is that the coach, the current coach is unfortunately uh less active with his current players um and that's what's causing the rift and that's what's causing those players that are there to be like you know what 
if this is how it's gonna be now, I don't know if I want to stick around. <laughs> <laughs> and I, 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 and as a former, as a former player myself, I can't fault them for to, for feeling that way. When you have a coach who isn't who isn't as active or as invested, it seems like anyway that that's what's going on. So, mm. throw my hands up for that one. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe we get some more information about it. Throw it in this coming days, couple weeks, but. I expected you to have more insight on this one, B-Ron. This is your stomping ground. You're letting me down here, man. I'm going to ask a direct question. John Hudgens, Keith Singleton, Trey Trust. What's the grumblings out in, uh, in, in, in the Maryland area, in the D.C. area? What are the grumblings? Are these kids interested in hanging around? I know you got some, I know you got some boots on the ground. So, on, man. Tell us something. So from what I'm hearing, Trey Trust, he's from Maryland, so he would like, he'd like to stick around. As, all of those kids would love to stick around. Um, I, 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 just, I, I, I just think that there is, there is other things going on that uh, there's things that they have to figure out in terms of, you know, do they want to stick around for, for the coach? So they do want to stick around, but they have to see how things kind of fall before they make any final decisions on that whole thing. There we go. I thought you had some info, sir. I thought you may have had <laughs> some it out info. Of me, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you holding something in the tank there. But look, we're going to keep it moving. Yeah. Coming home. I'm coming home. Coming home. That song still goes hard. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. Diddy Dirty Money. Last Train to Paris. <laughs> yeah. One of the greatest engineered albums of all times. Be wrong. What are we talking about here? Coming home. So... As we as we've seen over the past couple of weeks, a lot of players have entered the recruiting portal from teams who played or players who players who played on teams like Cascadia, Arthur Lattimore from Texas, you know, and other players like like that. They went out of state to go play last season. Who do you think could be returning home to play for one of their uh, one of your Texas or their home state team? Like a, a, la, a la Benari James for Queen City Kings, for example. I'm going to run through the regions like people that stand out for me. Is that all right? And hopefully, hopefully, how, hopefully they do this. I'm a big fan of people playing for their hometown team, right? We love, we love that story, man. We love that story. Does. Everybody does. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say Jay Laster. <laughs> I know he's already committed. <laughs> but wouldn't it just make sense as we're talking about uh, DMV? He's from Virginia. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be a great story? I know it's not yeah. finalized, but wouldn't it be great to see him in a uh, in a Run DMV jersey or a yeah, Visa yeah. the East? I, I it only that, makes yeah. sense. It only makes sense. Visa East won the championship. They lost to Fareed Redman. He kind of falls in that mode six mold. Excuse me, six five one eighty five. How he ends up in the north uh, in the northeast like that? I'm not so sure. But that and would look good. East are in Richmond, Virginia, so they're proper Virginia. So that yeah. just yeah, depends. yeah, a little, little weird, a little weird. But uh, Benari <laughs> James, I think him heading back to North Carolina to be around the family. Maybe him and Barkley James can rekindle their their uh, their family ship or their you know whatever 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 you want to call it. Um, seeing them play together for the hometown team, I really think that can help rekindle some things. Carter Fields, you know what I'm saying? Oh, North yeah. Carolina yeah. in the house. Royce mm -hmm. Anderson, I know he said he's not going back to Florida, but man, he'd be if that offense was built around him in the sunny yeah. in the sunny Miami. I'm all about it. I'd love to see that. Um, Renzo, Renzo, go back to Indiana, bro. Go take go check out the Indy Stripes. Go check them out. They're waiting for you. They're calling for you. Coach Storm is gone. The storm is no longer brewing in Indy. You can go there and you can yep. do what you need to do. You can stamp that place, put a Renzo Bryant culture on it. He's one of the yeah. most highest character guys we've seen in Simmer World Prep, and we know what that's going to do to him going to the college level. You could establish something serious here before you make your way and make your college exit. Um, yeah, so you I'll, could be the, the pipeline person for – Indy Stripes to Indiana University, if that's what you wanted to do, Renzo, you could. Yeah, he could re he could reestablish them as 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 a legitimate team, and I'm not just talking about winning because this is prep ball. You're there for a couple of years, but he could reestablish something that says, "Hey, here's the character and the identity of what this team is." Yep. 
Um, Pierre Dupont. Pierre Dupont. Am I saying that right? Oh yeah, B Pierre Dupont. Uh, he a LA. He's a Louisiana. I say LA uh, for yep. those who know Louisiana kid. Um, I don't know if he's taking a look at uh, at uh, Gulf Coast lockdown or not. Um, but I know the food's good there, and I know uh, if you're from New Orleans and you move somewhere else, everyone I know from New Orleans talks crap about the food and talks nothing talks about nothing more than the food that they're missing. So I think just <laughs> on, from a from a uh, from a from a dietary standpoint, it's time for you to head home, Pierre, because the crawfish is missing you, man. Um, Noah Jovich wouldn't wouldn't he look good playing the? Uh, Jace McGee's role? Yeah. Mm. Is Jace gone? That we know of? Jace is gone, man. He's off to college, that, sir. I, oh, okay. He's okay. off to college. That. So, that. Okay. Jace McGee's falls in that same mode. I think he's just a little bit more uh, efficient, in my opinion, at times. Arthur Lattimore, I think everyone knows we want to see him in Texas. King, King uh, <laughs> Arthur. Come bring your talents to Texas. We're looking for you. And then, yeah, California has a host of people. Um, I think they can move move around and figure out exactly where they want to position themselves. I got a few more, man, before I get out of here on this yeah. topic, if that's all right with you. Um, Go for it. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Go no for producers it, yeah. not cutting me off or nothing nope, like that. Nope, nope. You're good, man. All right. Uh, Ethan Letterman, Kenneth Clum. I don't know why y'all weren't playing for Africa in the first place. Y'all were upset about me. Like, Ethan. Ethan Letterman. Listen to me, Ethan Letterman. I'm a big Ethan Letterman fan. I really like him. I like his activity in the community. Yeah. It's what it's what this league is all about. It's people, it's community and being active and all of that, right? Uh, but, sir, you weren't going to get very many minutes playing behind Bronny James, Bryce James, uh, who else they had on that squad on Showtime? <laughs> I mean, they had everybody. Why wouldn't you go to Africa where the one thing that this team is missing consistently, um, and it, it's a it kind of a regional thing on an African squad, is shooting. What do you do, Mr. Let Letterman? You shoot the ball. Take your ass on to Africa, man. It's close by. Go ahead home, man. It's close. <laughs> I want to yeah, see I, it. Is, is there a logistical reason for Middle East? What's that? Uh, for middle, some, some more, some more middle. Yeah, East. he could do East. Africa. He could do Middle okay. East. He could do either one. You know, there's some, there's okay, some, um, right. there's some geopolitical issues yeah, uh, with yeah, the yeah, Middle that, East and yeah. Israel. But aside from that, I mean, he's right there, man. I'm, you know, what you doing in L.A.? The bright lights of L.A. I don't think that's a spot for you, young man. Get your shine on where you need to get it. Devin Fields, Devin Fields, return home. Family's calling. APAC is calling. Uh, Coach Coach Mac is now there, and I think he's calling. Um, so that'd be nice to see Richard Hennessy. You was out in Australia, mate. Made no sense. I think you need to find your way back to Latin America. That would be a beautiful sight. Um, and let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see if I got any more. One for more, you. Y'all. One more. You need one more. One more. Yeah. You need one more. Yeah. Can you give me one more? All right. This is gonna blow. I'm gonna I'm I'm blow. I'm gonna blow the roof off the sucker here. If you read it, I don't know if y'all ever heard. My mom used to listen to some song, <laughs> and they would say it over and over. Blow the roof off the sucker. Blow. I don't know what it was. Super old. She played on a uh, on an album, by the way, on vinyl. Yeah. Cole Webb, I don't want to see you playing stateside. I think that opportunity's coming. I think we're gonna get to see you play stateside, college, pros. That's gonna happen. And furthermore, once you get over here stateside, you're trying to play for a prep team out in L.A. or in Texas or New York or whatever, you try and get that stateside exposure. Dude, you're already nationally known. We know who you are. We're talking about you right now. Media is talking about you. And ultimately, once you get over here, you're going to be trying to go back and play for your national team um, when you're playing, you know, when in the Olympics or FIBA games or whatever. You're going to be trying to play right. for your national team. So why are you trying to bounce now? Why are you trying to get away from them now? We see you. Simworld Prep <laughs> has established itself to give high school age players national, not only national, excuse me, international exposure. There's no yeah. need to leave where you are. You're the man wherever you go. Unless you come out, uh, come stateside, you may not be the guy on the team, Cole Will. I think I got it all off my chest. I, I agree. I that one, I really agree with you on 100. Cole Webb, stay in, stay with Oceana, please. Don't don't leave, don't leave them. Yeah, um, I want I want to see him. I want to see him put up 30 shots in the game. I want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna have to. I'm, I'm gonna get you to keep talking here because. <laughs> oh man. Uh, sorry, man. I'm sorry because. I dropped the article yesterday on the H-Town Hoopers owner, uh, Jesse DeLeon, 
and I wanted to get your thoughts on him if you had a chance to speak to him yet or just any initial vibes you get off of uh that off of that guy. He's a new he's relatively new to the owner scene, but um he wants to uh make them the quote unquote Jackie Yates High School of Sim World Prep. And in my research of Jackie Yates, they were extremely dominant and really good. Undefeated for like they went fifty two and oh whatever in a couple of seasons and back like twenty ten or whatever, so they're really good for what I understand. What are your thoughts on Mr. 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 De Leon? So it's funny that you ask because I actually did have a moment to meet with Mr. De Leon. We had a pretty early morning breakfast. You know I'm up early. Um, yeah. I actually had a chance <laughs> before your article dropped yesterday. Um, we said well, there's a spot out here called Snooze um, in Texas it's called Snooze Breakfast Joint. And uh, we sat down, had a little bite to eat or whatever. Um, I did not know that he worked or interned with the Rockets. Um, we had a long conversation about that and his time there. <laughs> a long conversation um, about his time there. And, he, yeah, he talked about his aspirations uh, with the H-Town Hoopers to make them, like you said, the Jack Yates of SimWorld Prep. Um, he talked about his thoughts on SimWorld Prep as a whole and what it is as a league and the kind of exposure it's providing to these kids and the opportunities that they did not have. He talked about some guys that played for Jack Yates. Um that were great players that, you know, I, I don't have any other way to say it. They sat groceries now um, as good <laughs> as they were. And he's talking about, you know, how this opportunity here in Simwell Prep can really give players a, a, a chance to shine um, yep. if they're getting the minutes or not. The national exposure, the international exposure is not something that exists in high school basketball. It's something you want to be a part of. Um, and, I mean, he said he has he has some – he has some connections. I mean, he was well connected. He was very well liked with the uh, with the Houston Rockets organization. Uh, there are some players that he still has uh, some relationships with. He was an overall nice guy. I will say this. I'll say this. When I ordered my bed eggs Benedict, um, the way that he looked at me, I'm not very happy with. <laughs> Because I eat what I eat, and I don't need anybody judging me that early in the morning. Um, definitely not about what I eat, because I didn't, I didn't have anything to say about the shoes he had on. But other than that, he's a cool yeah. guy, man. All right. That is awesome. That is fantastic. I hope that he uh, he is able to live up to that uh, that uh, goal that he has for H-Town. We'll see. We'll see. But, man, we're going to talk about this uh, this viral putback that you know, <laughs> went crazy. Last night, P. Tor Jankowski uh, in a pickup game the other day, man, that, that that got out and people are just talking about it all crazy all over the place, man. Hey. Caught eyes here in some more prep, and man, I love seeing stuff like that. That's especially from a big man. He's a monster, man. I, I definitely want to hear you because I like it when to hear you get excited. But I will tell you, I got I sat here and I thought for a minute when I saw that play happen, I was like, man, let me channel some super old school guy. I just I've been watching a lot of Magic Johnson and Bird stuff over the last couple weeks. Shout out to both of them. Yeah. Shout out to Rick. You know where I stand on Magic. You know where I stand on Bird. That goes out to you too, Jalen. Um, but yeah, something that they would call this cat. If they were able to see that play in that era where they had social media, I think they would call him Pitor Jamakowski. <laughs> That's what I'm rolling with. Oh my God, he put it down. Uh he put it down, and that's just another example. I know I've been on a theme. I've been on. I've been on a theme this morning. That's just another example of what Sim World Preps trying to trying to put out there. Yes, social media has brought stuff to the forefront in a major way, but we're seeing international play hit the scene because of Sim World Prep. Uh, so international guys are getting international and global uh, notoriety. So big ups to you, Mister Peter Jam Jamakowski. Craziness. Somebody needs to be looking <laughs> at that kid. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, yeah, he, right now he's the number 33rd ranked international recruit. Uh, he hails from Belarus, and, and I actually used to work with a guy who was from the area, so uh, from that area of, of, of Belarus. And uh, good guy, but, you know, Janikowski, man, that, that whole thing was absolutely insane because you don't – <laughs> I think – you know the, the 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 small guys get get all the shine when it comes to dunking and that kind of stuff, but I think to see that kind of thing from a big fella off vert like that, to me makes it more impressive. Especially given that he's only 16 years old too. Like, you know what 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 more can you do or bring to the table that uh, that we maybe didn't get to see? Uh, there were other, there were a couple other things he, a couple other dunks he had in that game too that went kind, of, that went kind of crazy as well. So man, there's just, 
it's exciting when you see when you see things like that. Point point, point is simple, y'all. Point is simple. And I love it. <laughs> Absolutely. Mr. Jam Makowski. Run with it, guys. I'm trying to put that out. I'm trying to get something started. It's like Fetch on Mean Girls. Like it's Fetch. Hopefully, hopefully catches on and y'all don't uh Regina. Y'all don't uh Regina me. Please don't. Please don't Regina me. Oh man, yeah, hopefully not. Hopefully not. Yeah. All right, so um, look. Yeah, go for it. Heartland Zombie Stars. Yeah. Can a zombie get a makeover? That is that is a little that is a little weird. <laughs> um Coach is gone. Renzo's possibly gone. We, you heard me get my begging, my begging uh, plea on here. Um, Carter Field says he's out. Right, uh, pretty much everyone on that team that meant something is gone. Some of them left because they're headed on to college, figuring out where Brian Webb's going to go. We're figuring out where Kirby Ordway. Wish he would have got more clock. We're seeing where he's yeah. headed. I think Apollo Jones is gone. Ren Losey, Caden Randolph, and Shire Winterton, who were dogs in Ground Zero season, didn't see a whole lot of clock last season, but they're gone. Oh. Honcho Hardwick um, is apparently considering moving. Um, again, <laughs> where, I, I, this that just blows my mind. I wonder if the I wonder if the parents are leading these charges with uh, these kids moving or what's going on. Uh, but Honcho Hardwick, um, Apollo Jones, who I'm very high on. Yeah. I, there's clearly, I mean, it's a mass exodus, and there's obviously a big rebuild. I haven't heard anything about incoming head coach yet either. So Yeah, I haven't heard anything either on that front, and that's the most concerning thing to me uh, because we know what Coach Skinny did for that team and, you know, what Renzo and all those kids did really to get that get that area, um, have, a, have some sort of positive uh, – no, sorry, one of the more unique – uh, venues and experiences in Sim World Prep uh, this past this past season. So to see all that kind of be going away and now having to figure out the next step in the process is just wild, man. I don't know, I, I don't know where or how you even really begin to give that team, give the Zombie Stars a makeover because boy, do they need it, big time, big time. Yeah. I mean, oh, they need whatever they can get. But yeah. hey, we say all that to be fair. Um, they weren't great last year, so <laughs> whatever no, they, no, no, you're right. You're they right. competed. They, right. they did compete they at a high level. Right. I like the way they competed. That ride house was cranking. But I, I mean, there's nowhere to go but up when you, record wise, in my opinion. Very true. Very true. Well, we gotta wrap this up, y'all. We gotta wrap. This. We gotta go. Uh, thank you all for joining us today. We appreciate it as always. Today is what Wednesday. So we'll see y'all tomorrow. My days are all out of whack here. I'm trying to get all together. I can't do it. It's a lot to keep up with. Any <laughs> keep up with y'all. <laughs> anyway, y'all have a good rest of your day. And until tomorrow, guys, just remember that just because we're in the off season does not mean that here in SimWorld you can see the game, be the game. See y'all tomorrow.